This is SAT test 7, non-calculator question number 13. College Board gives you a rational expression and asks which expression is equivalent. As I always do, I'm going to try substituting in a simple value like x equals 0 and see if that can eliminate some of the choices. At 0, this is 0 minus 0 minus 5 over 0 minus 3 equals positive 5 thirds. Choice A is 0 minus 5 minus 20 over negative 3 is plus 20 over 3. Negative 15 over 3 plus 20 over 3 is 5 over 3. That might work, but it's not guaranteed because other answers may also match. This one is 0 minus 5 is negative 5 minus 10 over minus negative 10 over 3 is plus 10 over 3. And we know that doesn't work because negative 5 plus 20 over 3 did work. 0 plus 1 is 1, minus 8 over negative 3 is plus 8 over 3 is 11 over 3, which is not 5 over 3. And 0 plus 1 is 1, minus 2 over negative 3 is plus 2 over 3, 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3 is 5 over 3. So choices A and D work, B and C do not. Let's try another value. How about x equals 1? That would give me 1 minus 2 minus 5 is 1 minus 7 is negative 6, or 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So I should get positive 3. At 1, I get 1 minus 5 equals negative 4. Minus 20 over negative 2 is plus 10. Gives me positive 6. And at 1, this is 1 plus 1 equals 2 minus 2 over 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So 2 plus 2 has equals 3. That does work. Choice A does not. So the correct answer would be D. In this case, long division or synthetic division might be more efficient if you're good at those, but substituting in numbers changes this to arithmetic, which is a better option for many of us when we're under time pressure. Let's try this using algebra, x minus 3 into x squared minus 2x minus 5. x goes into x squared x times. x times x minus 3 is x squared minus 3x. I'm going to subtract this entire expression. x squared minus x squared is 0. Negative 2x minus negative 3x is negative 2x plus 3x is x. x goes into x one time, so I get x minus 3, subtract the whole expression, x minus x is 0, negative 5 minus negative 3 is negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So my rem remainder is negative 2, so my answer is x plus 1 plus negative 2 over x minus 3, which is equivalent to choice D. If you're comfortable with the algebra, the Long division or synthetic division might be better in this case, but if you're a little shaky on dividing polynomials, substituting numbers turns this into an arithmetic question. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.